Hello everyone, it's Mrs. Canales, the Assistant Orchestra Director at Robert Vela High School. And today I'm going to be helping you with how to play a three octave A major scale. All right, your prerequisites. You need to be able to feel comfortable in your shifting. You need to feel comfortable with extensions. You need to understand whole steps and half steps, and you must be able to read treble clef. But if any of these things are giving you trouble, don't worry because during the video, you can pause playback and review at any time. All right, so my goal for you guys is that by the end of this lesson, you should be able to play the A major three octave scale that is in your advanced technique for strings book. It's on page eight. So if you have your book, you can be able to follow along if you need a hard copy. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look real quick. A major. In this key, we have three sharps. We have F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. This is what the key signature would look like in our music if we played something in A major. So let's go ahead and get started at the studio so we can get to playing. All right, so A major. When we talk about major, we, we're talking about how we put together the notes in the scale. And we use a particular formula. And when we use this formula of whole steps and half steps, we get the notes of the A major scale. They are A, B, C sharp to D, which is your first half step, E, F sharp, G sharp to A, which is your last half step. So these are very crucial in creating that A major sound. All right, so let's take a look at the first octave. In the first octave of the A major scale, you're gonna have to do forward extensions. That means that you're gonna have to have a wide space between your first and second fingers. So when you play in the first measure, you go from A to C sharp. So you're gonna have to do that forward extension to make sure you get that fourth finger down. Then as you travel down and you go into the second measure, you're gonna play C sharp again. So make sure you do another forward extension on the G string. And then as you play up the scale, right before you hit the open A, you're gonna play an extended fourth finger for G sharp. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take a listen to this scale and follow along. All right, so that is the first part, the first octave of the three octave scale. Now let's take a look at the second octave. The second octave starts on open A. Then you put your first finger down for B, third finger down for C sharp, and then you're going to shift and place your first finger on D in third position. Then you're gonna put your third finger down for E, shift again for F sharp with your first finger. Then we're switching into treble clef. Your second finger goes on G sharp and your third finger, which is only a half step away, is on A. So make sure that your second and third finger at the end of this are close together since they're only a half step apart. Let's go ahead and take a listen to the second octave. Now on that last A where we finish right now, it is also a harmonic on your string. So if you had a hard time matching pitch, lightly touch on the string and listen for your harmonic. And then you can kind of have a better understanding where your A will be and where it can be relatively in tune. All right, so now the third octave. Now the first note I do have crossed out because it's a G sharp and I wanna make sure that you understand we're still in treble clef. So I just crossed that out so that way you know that that's not where we're starting. We're starting on the A, the third finger where we finish. So as we look at all of these notes, we're gonna have to shift one more time on the B. So after we play that A, our first finger is gonna go up a whole step to B, then we're gonna have a whole step to C sharp, then we're gonna shift a half step to D with our first finger, then we're gonna play a whole step to E, which E is also a harmonic, which when you see the video in a little bit, you'll notice that I have a yellow sticker on my fingerboard and that's uh, to kind of give you an idea where E is on my own instrument. That is a harmonic and that can help you with finding that E. 
Then you're going to shift one more time and you're going to land your first finger on F sharp. Second finger will be on G sharp. And then once again, you're going to have a half step to your third finger A. Don't worry about all the... Uh, Oh, the way that it looks, I've, I had to go ahead and crop it out a little bit because if you notice in your book, that's the beginning of the second line for that scale. So just, just bear with me here, but you can follow along still pretty well if you listen to this and follow the fingerings. Here we go, starting on the A harmonic. All right, so that is the third octave of the scale. Now I'm gonna go ahead and perform for you the entire three octave scale, first starting in half notes and then performing them in quarter notes. So if you would like to watch this video first, that's perfectly fine. And then of course, if you need to play back, you can go ahead and do that and play along on the second time around. Here we go. All right, so just remember that you can go ahead and play back this video as many times as you need to, so that way you can get used to performing the A major three octave scale. We'll see you next time.